United Six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. MSU student Nate Statley has been in the hospital since being shot in the head five months ago in February's mass shooting. Now family members say they're getting ready to bring him home and they're asking for help from the community to make that transition a little easier. Nick Simon is here for you now with more on what they need. Nick. Sherry, Siobhan, this update comes to us from the victim's brother. He says he's happy to report that Nate is making great progress in his recovery. and He's been an example of dedication and strength. Family members say that before the shooting, Nate was an avid runner that was getting ready for a summer job on Mackinac Island. That all changed five months ago when Nate was admitted to the hospital in critical condition. But since then, he's been getting stronger and learning how to travel in a wheelchair. He's spent months in intensive care and rehab, and nurses say that he's beat everyone's expectations. And now, the family says that they are ready to bring him home, but they're looking for a mobility van to help get to follow-up appointments when that happens. That's why they're asking the community for any help they can provide. Earlier fundraisers for Nate on GoFundMe raised over $300,000, but between doctor's appointments and expensive modifications to their home, they're, asking that, they're hoping that someone will see this and reach out with some options. If you can help, you can contact family members through their GoFundMe page. The link to that will be on our website under the Scene on Six section. From everyone here at Six News, we want to wish Nate and the rest of the Statley family well wishes for the rest of his recovery, and we'll keep our viewers at home updated on his progress. Sherry, Siobhan, back to you.